Hello, and welcome to Building Geek Cred. On this episode, we're going to teach you how to clean miniatures, get them prepped and ready for painting. Be sure to check our links down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Well, let's get started. When it comes time to clean miniatures, there's just a couple of things that you need. You need a sink with running water. Here I've got a double-sided kitchen sink that I'll be using. You need some mild detergent of some sort. In this case, I happen to have Dawn Ultra sitting around the house, so I'll be using that. It does a very good job of removing residue from the miniatures. You need some sort of surface to dry the miniatures on. In this case, I just have a standard drying pad that I have. Just use it for kitchen dishes. And you need a toothbrush. I strongly recommend getting a brand new toothbrush for this. You can get the simplest one in the store. I happen to have this one. I like the way that the tip kind of extends a little bit here. It gives me a little extra reach to get down in the cracks and crevices of the figure to make sure that they get clean. That's really all you need to get started. So we'll talk about the process next. So before you actually get started cleaning your miniatures, it's very important to clean your sink. This may seem strange, but remember, the objective here is to clean any residue off of the miniatures that may make it difficult for them to be painted later. If there's anything in your sink at all that could possibly stick back on the miniatures, any kind of oils, any type of food residue, you want to get rid of that. So let's start by plugging both sides of the sink or just whatever, just make sure your sink is plugged, whatever you happen to be using. Get a little bit of detergent down in here. Run a little bit of water in there. I'm going to build up some suds. And I'm just going to use a standard dish cloth here to wash this down. I'm going to clean both sides. I only plan on using one side of the sink to do this, but just go ahead and make sure everything's clean just in case you feel the need to transfer from one side to the other. All right, that's pretty good. We'll clean this one down as well. As we're working on these miniatures, we're going to work primarily in the side with the standard drain. You don't want to work in the side with the garbage disposal. It may, again, seem strange, but a miniature, by and large, can't fall down this side of the sink. If it goes down in the garbage disposal, you're in trouble. It may be challenging to get it back out of there. Of course, you never want to reach your hand directly into a garbage disposal. best thing to do is just keep the miniatures out of this side of the sink, if at all possible, if you're using a kitchen sink. Finish rinsing these down. Don't need to worry about the sink being dry because we're just going to wash miniatures in it. Now, even though we're not planning on using the garbage disposal side of the sink, I'm going to go ahead and plug it up just in case I drop a miniature on that side. And again, I'm going to go ahead and plug this side of the sink up as well. So we want to run a nice bath for the miniatures. So we're going to go ahead and get some water going here again. Lukewarm. You don't need it to be overly hot. Get some of your detergent down in there. It's getting sudding up a little bit here, so we know we got some cleaning power. And really all there is to this process is to put your miniatures into the water and scrub them with a toothbrush. So the miniatures that we've chosen once again are from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Shadows of the Past set. I'm going to grab a couple of those. So we've got Donatello here. And also got what appears to be old hob. We just get them down in the water. Make sure that they've sudsed up real nicely. We grab our toothbrush. And then we get to work. So you remove your miniature. Using the toothbrush, you want to gently brush over the surface. Get into every nook and cranny as best you can as you're doing this. Make sure you do the base as well because you're going to want to paint that. And just to be thorough, I'll do the bottom of the bases also. One more to do. Same process. We're just going to start here. We're going to scrub him. Top to bottom. All sides. Clean that base. And that's the first step. Next thing you want to do is rinse your miniatures. Again, you want to use kind of a lukewarm water here. 
Make sure they're thoroughly rinsed. You don't want any soap residue or anything else left upon them. Once you're confident that they're clean and they're rinsed, just set them over here, put them on your drying pad, and we will let them dry. And I like to let them air dry. I don't like to apply any heat to them, any kind of a hair dryer or anything like that, because that may end up misforming the miniatures because the heat will actually bend the pieces of the miniatures if you apply too much to that. That's really all there are for the basics. Now there's a couple of things that I like to do that helps make the process in my mind more effective, more efficient. First thing is, I use a colander. That way I keep the miniatures inside of the colander in the sink. Of course the water can flow through it. When you pick it up the water all drains out. It's real easy to go ahead and rinse it off that way. So we'll do a couple miniatures there. So in this case we've got the shredder and we've got, uh, looks like a kitsune of some sort. So notice here, it's really easy. I can agitate them in the sink, get that water going. Get them up here, scrub them up real well again. Get that base. The same thing for the shredder. And he's going to be a lot of fun to paint. He's got his arm up in front of his face. That always presents challenges. But we'll see when we get there. All right, now once I've got all my miniatures in there washed, again, I can pick this whole thing up. Notice the soapy water's gone. I can just run rinse water over the top of them here. Move them around a little bit. Make sure all sides get rinsed. Now, if you're observant, you'll notice this isn't just a colander. This is actually an insert for a salad spinner. That's the second tip I'll give you. You want to get as much water off of these guys as possible. And so what I do, I have an inexpensive salad spinner. I pick this up at Ikea for about $5. After your miniatures are washed, just put them in here. Agitate it around. When the spinning stops, the vast majority of the water is off of the miniatures already, so they're going to dry a little more quickly. So again, we've got this done. We're simply going to take them, transfer them over here to our drying mat, and get them set up, let them dry overnight, and they'll be ready to use. So in the end, that's really all there is to cleaning miniatures. A little sink of warm, soapy water. Standard toothbrush. Start with a clean one, please. Keep it only for doing your miniatures. It'll last forever and you need a little drying surface. If you want to get fancy, you can use the colander, use a salad spinner, like I said. You'll notice there's water coming right out of there, so we did spin quite a bit off of them doing it that way. And that's just going to save time on the dry cycle. So that's it for cleaning the miniatures. Thank you very much for joining us today. This has been Building Geek Cred, and I'm your host, John DeCook.